In ArcGIS Pro, if we want to do more complex processing or control how operations are executed, we can create a Python script tool. So how do we do this? Well, we've got our project here. And if we go to the catalog window and go to toolboxes and then right click and select new Python toolbox. So we'll give the toolbox a name and then save it. So we've now got an empty toolbox with an undefined script in there. So we need to decide what we want this tool to do. So in this project, we've got a layer, a points layer, and we need to buffer it based on an attribute field, um, but only if the value is above a certain threshold, so a user-defined threshold. So this is a little bit more than what the standard geoprocessing buffer tool will do. So ideal for a Python script, so, you know, something we can configure. So the first thing we need to do is create our Python code. So to do this, go onto the toolbox that we've just created and then right click on the script and edit. The script will open in whatever you have registered as your Python editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is free, but you can use anything, even Notepad. So the default code has already been added and we just need to fill in the functions to get our script to work. So we can see how this uh, can change things. So if we go and change the label, for example, so we're gonna change the label uh, for the script and then we'll save and then refresh the toolbox and we can see the label has now changed. And in this way, you can make edits to your script and see those uh, changes reflected in the toolbox real time. So, there are two functions of note here. There's get parameter info and execute. So if we look at get parameter info, if we want to get information from the user and get the user to define things, then this is where we will do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some code that I've already written and just paste it in here. And if we have a look at this code, what we we'll see here is we've got four pieces of info that we want to obtain from the user. ArcPy is the ArcGIS package that allows us to access the geoprocessing tool and many other GIS tasks. And that package has already been imported at the top. So if we just save and refresh this to see how those four pieces of info are reflected in the form. So if we double click on the script to open the tool, we can see we've now got the four items in the form uh, waiting for input. And if we look at the first one, uh, here we, the display name is uh, the label that will appear above uh, each particular uh, item. And then the data type defines what we actually want the user to fill in. So this first one is asking for a feature layer. So it will create a drop down window for that, um, listing all the items from the content pane. The next item is a field. So that's going to be name of the field we're going to use to uh, get the values for buffering. Then we have the threshold. This is a double. So that means we want the user to fill in a number that includes, that can include decimals. And then finally, it's going to be the output location. Uh, where the buffered uh, feature layer is going to be saved to. Having defined the get parameter info function, we can scroll down to the execute. Uh, this is where we're going to put the code to actually do the processing. So I'm just going to paste in code I've already written. And the first part of the code we've got here is just to get those values that we define in get parameter info, just to get those into variables. So the next part, we'll see we've got this feature, make feature layer. And this is making an in-memory feature layer for the feature class to buffer. And this is based on a query. And that query is uh, only features that are greater than the fresh threshold. And next we have add message and that prints out the number of features that will satisfy the query. And you can use add message to print any messages you want to the tool. And finally, we're going to buffer the layer for the features that do satisfy that query. So if we save that, and then we'll go to the project, 
Um, and then we'll actually, um, we can actually run uh, that the tool. And we can see the results of running the tool and we get this buffered layer is the output. And we can also see if we look at the messages from the tool run, uh, those arcpy.add messages. And that is a brief overview of Python toolboxes. And Python toolboxes are completely self-contained files so they can easily be shared. <laughs>